Hey, what's happening there, folks? G the Hat Guy here. Back at you with another awesome uh, video here. Okay, uh, we're going to be discussing uh, three types of berets you must know in this video, okay? Which is awesome for uh, you folks, uh, you know, fellow hat folks out there, because you get to uh, gain some more insights and expand your knowledge uh, a bit more about berets, okay? And those of you who are not used to wearing berets, don't be scared of berets. Uh, you know, uh, go to, out to your local hat shop or, uh, you know, online uh, purchase place and uh, get your beret. So we're going to dig dig in a bit more with uh, berets in this video. Uh, and when you watch this video to the end, uh, you would have gained more knowledge, more insight and enlightenment uh, about berets, uh, whatnot, and uh, the different options that you have with berets. Okay, so let's get right into it. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share the channel with other folks who are into hats and headwear. Okay, I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, as you can see in front of me here, this is your uh, traditional style, uh, French style beret. This one uh, is pretty popular, uh, you know, like mass, usually mass produced. Uh, this is 100% wool. This is actually made in Eastern uh, Europe. This particular one that I have in my hand here. Okay. Uh, there is no lining in, inside of this one here. This is, uh, it's got a wider top. It's in the style of the French, the traditional French beret. Uh, they have what's called uh, uh, La Lair Heritage. La Lair. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, in the French, uh, you know, pronunciation, whatnot, uh, but it's called La Lair. Uh, that's the best I can do on that. Uh, L A H L H E R. Okay, that's how that's the name. La Lair uh, with accent on the E and stuff for the French uh, tone, uh, French accent, whatnot. La Lair uh, Heritage. Okay, it's a company uh, in France, I guess, that they make, and they have a few other ones out there. That they make uh, French style berets, what now? Uh, basically, the the French, you know, the beret came from uh, the French culture. Okay, the uh, French Alpine uh, soldiers, military. They used to, they're the ones that uh, I, I believe after the First or Second World War, something like that. They they were uh, wearing the uh, berets. So that's how the the berets got into hat culture and headwear culture. You know, that's how the culture started to spread. It became like a global phenomenon for headwear. It started with the military, and that's why you see a lot of different types of military around the world that wear berets, that their uh, soldiers wear berets and stuff. So uh, I believe Americans even have the green beret, you know. So there you go. Special forces. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this this is your traditional style. Uh, it, it emulates your traditional style French beret. Uh, with a few missing uh, options with it. This is really simple. There is no lining, nothing. The sweatband, there is no sweatband really in this one. It's just a wool, just woven wool that's it into the beret. That's all this is here. And it's got the little, uh, the little uh, wool, a piece of wool in the center there, uh, sticking out there. Let's see, uh, in place of a button, you know whatnot but yeah that's the look right there this one is like a uh, uh, purple type color as you can see there all right so that's the first one okay now I'm gonna show you some other options here now this one here is uh, is more closely related with the traditional French beret it's similar to the one I just showed you Okay, this is it's kind of like a black, I believe, or a dark navy for this one. Uh, but this one, the sweatband, you see it's got this uh, sort of like a woven uh, poly mix band on the inside, which is really essential with the traditional French beret. Uh, the Anglo Basque, the Basque, Basque or Anglo Basque style beret, that's what this is here. Okay, the French, uh, official French beret. Uh, style beret, the Basque beret, okay, is what this is more closely related to here, okay, which will uh, 
again with, with that sweat man will typically have a piece like that on the inside and then also in the back of the beret it would have like a hat kind of like a dress hat we have the, the bow in the back there as well you see that bow will be sewn to the back of that sweatband and then the lining this has got a satin lining on the inside okay we have a satin lining right there on the inside as you can see there okay um yeah so you have a satin lining so that's a standard with a with an official anglo bass style beret you will have this type of uh, woven band you have the lining and then you have the bow uh like i showed you you know kind of like in the back of a say like a fedora hat or or most uh, dress hats you know what now uh, that are made out of fur felt like your fur felt hats typically standard signature will have a bow sewn in the back of the sweatband there okay so these are essential features with your traditional french style uh beret the anglo basque beret okay this is a version from another company here whatnot that i'm not really promoting any particular brands right now so but uh yeah so again just trying to show you the the product the the beret itself it's all about the berets and it's all about the hats <laughs> so yeah so but this is the look similar to the first one i showed you but this one is more closely related with some of those additional features the lining the way the band is the kind of band that it has and then the bow those are standard okay um so with your anglo basket beret french style beret so again just want to show you something that's more closely related to it i show you the mass produced version which is this one and then this one is more closely related okay um this one is not made in france what now i believe this is made in taiwan or something in asia okay so that's that so now let's move on to another style of beret here so like this one here, this gray one. Uh, let's see, this charcoal gray. Let's see, Let me take that, get that off of here. Yeah, this is your Jack's beret, which has got the neckline. You know, at the base. You know, you have the sweat band right there. You know, and they sold a sweatband, a woven polyester sweatband to the neckline. Okay, the extension. Okay, this is my favorite here. I like all the berets, you know, but I, I wear I wear this quite a bit. It's got different colors and that kind of thing. It's got the center button, and it's got almost like an eight and a quarter panels kind of stamped into it. You can see it vaguely there, almost like a newsboy cap or a Spitfire cap, whatnot. It's kind of stamped into it. It's not actually cut out panels, okay? And uh, yeah, so that's that one. And this doesn't come with a line on the inside. You know, it's just a wool sweatband. It's got a button in the middle. And like I said, it's got the stamping for the uh, eight and a quarter panels, almost like an apple cap, a newsboy cap, whatnot. But I like it because of the neckline, the extension that it's got there. I like that, you know, it's my, my favorite go-to. So this is the Jack's Beret. Okay, this is another popular one with, uh, you know, a particular manufacturer out there what now. Some other, you know, actually, not just, you know, there, there's quite a few different uh, folks that, uh, that wear this. You see a lot of women wear it. You know, you see men wear it, you know, what now. Yeah, I do see a lot of women wearing even this one with the neckline and the traditional one, of course, you know, really, really, really popular with a lot of older women especially senior you know, citizens you know they love it at this point in the video folks if you're learning something so far you're getting some insight some new value go ahead and uh like the video uh subscribe to the channel like share comment let me know do you, are you into berets what kind of berets do you have talk to me in the comment section okay share the video with other folks who are into hats into headwear or into berets okay have them watch this video uh like share comment thumbs up the video that's the easiest way you can help me here for the channel thumbs up the video also check us out on instagram the heck uh g the heck guy on instagram follow us on there i'm trying to you know keep up with all the social media platforms also facebook we have a uh, uh, 
hat group on there, Facebook group called The Hat Lounge by G The Hat Guy. The Hat Lounge by G The Hat Guy. Uh, send me a request to join the group. It's a private group, hat group. You can post your own pictures of your own hat collection. When you're dressed up, show off your hats, your favorite hats, that kind of stuff. And I have to uh, authorize that request. You know, and then you'll be good to go to start posting on there, okay? The Hat Lounge with G The Hat Guy on Facebook. That's the hat group. The hat group on there okay so give the video a thumbs up okay so now the last uh, of the three types of uh, uh, berets that you must know is the uh, you have the uh, military style okay or Monty you know uh, the Monty style or military style berets this is uh, one of the first versions uh, that kind of came out as well Okay, this is real popular style for the military style berets. Okay, this one, you know, it's online. Again, it's got a uh, either like a leather or imitation leather. This particular one is imitation leather, like a vinyl uh, piping. Okay, neckline as you see there. Okay, that's vinyl. Okay, it's online. There is no satin lining inside of it. Okay, and then it's got this here this has got like a piece of uh maybe plastic or something sewn in there where they poke where they sew the uh they sew like a patch on the front for the military you know like the uh coat of arms or something like that they sew that on there in the front there and that kind of holds it up that piece of plastic that's in the cotton cloth cloth you know that kind of holds up that patch so you can see the coat of arms of the military whichever country or association or organization is representing so this is like your Monty style or military beret. Okay, that's your third type. That's online. Okay, you see it right there. Again, so that's all I have for you with in this video. Uh, so hopefully you've learned something, you've gained something new about berets. If you're not into berets, don't be scared of berets. Go ahead and grab your beret, check them out, try them on. They're really nice addition to your accessory, your hat and your headwear collection, okay? Uh, and they come with a very unique look, okay? So you can rock it with jeans, you know, put it with that ensemble. You're wearing some dress pants sometimes. You can pull off with beret as well, you know, depending on your outfit, a sweater, you know, pants, that kind of thing. You know, really nice accessory. I'm a big beret fan. I've got them in different colors. So subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment, share with somebody else who might be interested in this type of uh, hat and hair wear content, okay? Check us out on Facebook. Uh, group hat group on uh, Facebook. It's uh, the Hat Lounge with G the Hat Guy. The Hat Lounge with with G the Hat Guy. Same name. And sent me a request, and I'll go ahead and approve that. You can post your own uh, hat collection, your pictures of what you got when you dressed up, or casual hats when you you know out and about that kind of stuff. You know, no spamming, no spamming. Okay, those would be uh, blocked. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you. Thumbs up the video, and I'm signing out. Thank you. Bye-bye.